hey guys welcome back to a new video here on joe with us and in today's video i want to take you guys through what i did during this particular edit how i transformed this particular image from this to that and its counterparts which i know went quite viral a lot of people were reposting this and i decided to retouch the second one which i felt lazy too but yeah i wanted to show you guys quite some differences between these two images and i don't know if you have noticed yes after you're done whatever it is like after you're done retouching your images you realize that the next time we retouch the next one you do a better job than the previous so i have some color shifts over here looking at the neck region the face the cues of yellows and reds but here i have my reds or my skin color almost matching every part of the skin even looking at the neck so i'll i really wanted to show you what i did for this but i think this is the better version of what i wanted to do here right so always go for the correct ones and learn from the past all right so i have this this is what i shot in camera looking at this um if you haven't or if you're wondering what i'm doing right now this is a new capture one feature the before and after kindly upgrade yours so this is the after this is before what i did it this is before that's from camera straight from camera s-o-o-c as you guys put it and this is after capture one some color corrections some shifts in my tint some tints in my white balance which i think yeah i can show you guys so this is the before and that's the after so you guys can see i cooled down the picture a little bit added some green tint did nothing here in the color editor neither in the color balance so yeah i think that's about it i want to take you guys to photoshop what i did here in photoshop so this is the before and this is the after i shot this image using one light and a reflector so if you're wondering how this image was achieved i've uploaded a video here on my youtube channel you can go check it out i'll either leave a link down in the description below or I'll leave a suggest card and yeah you can learn something new from whatever it is i did here right so i yeah this is the before where you can see quite some changes with me i'm always saying that don't change the structure of the human being just fix the color and the lighting issues on the skin i don't say the makeup was bad because the makeup was really really great and i really loved working on this particular makeup uh, the makeup artist did a very good job the way i wanted it right so this is the after i just had to fix color issues and lighting issues and let's turn everything off so that i show you guys what exactly i did so this is the healing i spent a lot of time behind the healing and if you guys have been here with me on my youtube channel you know cc whatever it is you see here is my color correction action i put up some other time ago when i was talking about the color theory i'll suggest a link card you guys can go watch that so color correcting the image from what i said i color corrected earlier in capture one so i i did a further color correction here and this is something um photoshop said um, it was to the eyes view which was correct i won't say it's 100 percent efficient but you guys can see i reduced the opacity so i like my colors according to what i think i saw during the shoot uh, this is my healing session took out some lines around the neck sorry the tag on the towel was used the reflection over here on the cheek which after i was done took away some colors then some blemishes all over her face and take a look at this part this particular part right the kind of reflection that i tried blending this using the clone stamp too so if you're wondering i have a video on how to use clone stamp too non-distractively in healing your images together with the healing brush too and sometimes the patch too so this is the before and after before and after right from there if you guys can see it's not the fault of the makeup artist because no matter what you do whenever when, what whatever it is you do to the neck or the down region 
since your blacks and our skins are not lighter enough um picking up light is quite different from what um a white or um yes should i just, let me just say a white person will pick up light so the face took off the light took some of the light and it gave me whatever it is you're seeing here that of the neck the transition of the light from the face to the neck was you guys can see the difference and that's of the down part of your skin so you realize there's light here there's light here and the lights down here you don't really see because of the face taking everything so i tried fixing the color shoe over here and the lights and issue using my curves and if i show you the before before you see some kind of yellow tints and all that with a lot of reds and after you realize i have matched the face and the skin so let me show you whatever it is i did here in the curves adjustment layer so in my reds i tried to so the opposite of reds out cyan so i added some reds into the curve adjustment removed some greens in the shadows and in the highlight too and added some yellows into the blues so opposite of blue is yellow opposite of green is magenta opposite of red is cyan cmyk if you have no idea what that is you can check it out so this is what happened here in my healing nothing extra all trying to fix so if you've been following my journey here on my youtube and also on my instagram handle you guys know i like more of my images to look as natural as possible so yeah i try to keep it as clean and as natural as possible and organic now in the dodging and burning layers so this is what happened on the skin so i have um, an action for dodging and burning if you guys don't know how to create your own dodging and burning layers kindly check um, on my youtube channel you would get to see what or uh, how to create your dodging and burning action so this is what happened here in the skin so the before and after before and after this probably took me quite like three to four hours not gonna lie and this is me showing you whatever i did here in the dodge and here in the bend right so yeah the before and after before looking at this and i told you guys i'll fix this reflection from the earring so this is what happened here in my dodging and mending of the skin then if you check the eye i did some healing in the eye too right using the spot healing brush so with that i can just clean stuff in the eye without um sampling from anywhere so i have to do some dodging and bending in the eye to fix just a color shift and the lumina the luminosity issues which i faced in the eye so this is the before and after let me show you what i did so here in the dodge and here in the burn and this was to this is um a 50 percent gray layer to just give me some dimension and the eye adding a 3d effect in the eye before i dodged and bent you guys know what this hue and saturation is doing here just to take off the reds the yellows or any other color that's kind of distracting to me in the eye and now we have the dodging and bend of the lip add some depth and definition to it shape it the way i wanted it to so let me show you a total before and after the dodging and bending before and after before and after now eye whitening and teeth whitening whatever i see is just the curves a photo filter and hue and saturation i have videos on how to do eye whitening and teeth whitening so i don't want to go too much into it i should have said this but whenever i'm trying to retouch my images after the healing i go straight to color grading because after dodging and burning and if you dodge and burn or if you color grade after dodging and burning you get to realize you have 
a little bit issues concerning lighting issues color issues and other stuff so always try and color grade your images before you dodge and bend so i color graded it and i dodged and bend and i had no issues right so always color grade your images before dodging and burning so here in my color grading overall color grading i have the very first thing uh, a black and white layer to reduce the saturation over like on the overall image using gradient map so if you guys don't know how to do that just pick black on your background and white on your foreground and just choose the gradient map so sorry if you're hearing any other noises behind the background because my neighbors are quite noisy so apologies on that and there's a selective color here i don't know if you guys are seeing what that is that it's doing here on this image but with the gradient map i've reduced the opacity to the preferred amount selective color i'm always um my blacks majority of the time and sometimes in my yellows depending on what i want the skin to look like because i know what i saw when i was shooting so nothing the neutrals bit of uh, um, adjustments in the opacity to keep the whites the way i want it and my color lookup table comes in with my caramel four of my lats so if you're wondering where you can get this kindly hit me up in my dm so i'll leave my instagram handle down in the description below check me out check my page out and hit me up for the lats that have been selling for quite a while and some shifts in the color balance targeting my shadows so yeah you know overall this is what i did in my color grade so before and after now to saturation shifts after every dodging and burning you realize you have some after every dodging and burning you realize you have some saturation shifts in or on your image or on the skin you're editing sometimes when you dodge you increase the saturation when you burn you reduce the saturation so turning on my saturation shifts i don't know if you see this but i hope to i hope you guys see this so let me show you the max where the saturation shifts happened so this is a desaturation shift because i tried as much as possible to dodge these sides to blend the skin so this is the before and after before let me see if you guys can see before and after before and after let's go here before and after i've reduced it i just want a little bit of it so i'm not sure you guys can see it and i saturated some parts because of the dodge some around this area right around the chin and some around here because of the dodging i did over there and after that you realize when i did a comparison on capture one between the two images i've posted looking um below the face the skin looks quite different with uh, hints of yellows and reds all over the image right so to check on that i have an action which i hope to put out very soon all well, you guys can check out pics and preference there's this video on x-ray of retouching where you guys can learn how you can fix um huge changes in your image where you can get same color on the face and that of the skin you can use gradient maps for that but i wanted to use a hue and saturation layer because i also learned it from somewhere so this is the before and this is the after i hope you guys can see the change take a look at this area before and after so from the yellowish tint to a reddish tint let me show you what i did here so you guys can see on the normal when you open your hue and saturation that you have master reds yellows and all that but with this i have two yellows one yellows and yellows too so on yellows the first yellows you realize my range is within 
this here so let's keep this in mind minus 10 and let me just increase the saturation and show you where i had issues with so you realize on this part this part this part had quite some greens or should i say yellows in them so moving this to minus 10 and this back to zero i moved it from the greens into the red so that i could get matching skin tones on the face to that of the skin so that's the saturation shift and i had to do some color issues over here and the cheek where sorry and the cheek where i had removed the the reflection of the earring somewhere around here too so it's just a new uh, blank layer change the color a uh, brush flow of five with my um, airbrush turned on to just fix those little color issues added some color to the lip and the eyeshadow did some sharpening all over the chain the jewelries the lips the eyes so that's how i get to sharpen my image i don't sharpen the overall image i just sharpen some parts added noise to have an organic feel over the image and last but not least the sparkle and shine to add some effects so the blanking effect you guys saw wasn't um from the shoot i added in photoshop so you know this is the before and this is the after so taking this image from here to this took me roughly three to four hours yeah because after dodging a man which will take part of your time that's where everything changes so dodging a man and if you keep it neat and as close to natural as possible i think you spend quite a lot of time so thank you guys for joining me on this video i hope to be doing more behind the edits where i show you what i did in most of my um trending pictures or should i say most of my pictures let's remove the trending don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell notification icon on. and this video is proudly sponsored by the 94 shop so the 94 shop is an online platform where you just hit them up and the frame um, your pictures in canvas glass frames and quite some other stuff too um, so if you're wondering I'll leave a link down in the description below you can check them out um, and if you want to use if you want um, if you want um, your pictures to be framed you can use the short code or should I say short code or should I say cheat code or you can use this particular writing on the page you're seeing right now to get a 15% discount is it 15 I think to get a discount I think it's 10 between 10 and 15% discount for the very first 15 people who hit the page up with that short code so rush now don't be waiting behind because canvas frames are quite expensive and i hope this video helps you to get a cheaper price on you framing your pictures for your room or for your studio or any other thing you do so the 94 shop they are here in ghana they do online deliveries i think okay, so just check them out i'll leave it i'll leave their handle down in the description below don't forget to hit them up for your frames i'll see you in the next video peace